Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. And here in this session, we are going to discuss on criteria of a good research. So basically, there are various criteria, and some of them are like validity, reliability, objectivity, generalizability, and ethical considerations. So we are going to explore them one by one. After that, we are also going to describe some more important criteria that you may learn as a part of this. criteria of a good research right so let's start with validity so if we talk about validity right validity we talk about how relevant your research work is it simply means that the research question that should be clearly defined the research questions that we are having it should be clearly defined it should not be like that whatever work it should be clearly defined and the research results at the end the research findings at the end it should be matched it should be matched with your questions that you have framed right that's the reliability it is important criteria of a good research then we can talk about reliability so reliability means research should be conducted in a way that can have a possibility of reducing the uh, reducing the error right so there should be possibility possibility of reducing errors or you can say that minimize the possibility of error the result of the research should be consistent the result of the research should be consistent now the next one is objectivity so if we explore the third type that is the objectivity we can say that research should be conducted in a neutral in a neutral and unbiased environment your research should be conducted in neutral and unbiased environments it should not basically manipulate the results with researcher personal belief or its personal idea or personal opinions right so it should be unbiased and whenever we talk about generalizability it means that the finding should be universal it means that it should not be like that the results are applicable only to the shorter or you can say that a very small group of participants but it should be wider as much as possible and there are two ethical considerations it means that the research that has been conducted it should be conducted in a ethical manner it should be conducted in an ethical manner such that they protect the rights and well beings of the participants right now apart from it we can say that apart from it we can say that uh, uh, we can take uh, let's say the examples like uh, your research should be systematic it is also criteria right systematized effort right so it means that research should be defined by several steps and research should be logical we can say right so it should be a process of induction and deduction should be are of great value here so it should be logical rules of logical reasoning and logical process should be there and your research should be empirical your research should be empirical it means that it should be basically uh, involve one or more real life uh, situations and that should be also on the concrete data sets and proofs right and your research should also be replicable it is also a good criteria replicability it means that your research can be used further in future by other researchers and it should help them on making the basis stronger so there are some of the criteria of good research i hope the basic concepts are clear to all of you right so if you are having any doubt queries or any kind of uh, uh, confusions right please feel free to comment have a very nice day jai hind jai bharat and don't forget to subscribe us for more such important have a nice day guys